Okay, folks, here's the first flat two-dimensional drawing that we're going to go ahead and make. Uh, this will introduce a few new topics and help reinforce some ones that you've already learned. But learn to draw flat 2D initially will help you out when we move on to your first project that is actually three-dimensional. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll come into SketchUp. And I'm going to create a new drawing now. What I just showed you was in feet and inches. So that's what we're going to select. A simple template with feet and inches. And so you could go ahead and click back and forth between SketchUp. Or maybe you have a paper printout of this, uh, which is always handy. I work with two monitors, but I've got a you know, pretty big setup at home. Nevertheless, I'm going to show you just a little trick here that's going to make your life a whole bunch easier if you're just working with one screen. So let's see. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my scenes. And since we want to be drawing flat here, we're going to want to be viewing it from above. Now let me show you what happens if you don't draw directly at it and work with the red and green axis. I'm just going to go ahead and start a line. And I'm going to make what looks like a box. Not quite where you thought it was, right? And it can even be worse. I can come over here. Right, there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw this four-sided shape. And it didn't fill in, did it? And although it looks sort of like, I guess, a mountain or whatever, when we take and, let's see here, I'm going to grab all this and just delete it. And then I'm going to do it, what's called a zoom extents by pressing the shift Z key at the same time. Hold down my shift key while pressing down on my mouse wheel. And as we orbit around, it's not quite what you thought it was, was it? So that is just a limitation of any 3D modeling program when you're actually using a flat two-dimensional computer monitor in a 3D space. So I'm going to go ahead and go Command A, select all, and just type delete. I'm going to go to my top view here. That looks just fine. So remember that when we looked at this to begin with, it was it's about five inches by four inches, right? So if I come back into SketchUp and just draw a rectangle, so I'll type in R for rectangle and I'll just kind of mouse out and then I'll look down in my dimensions box. It says that's about seven feet by four feet, isn't it? But I only want it to be five inches by four inches and I'm working in inches. So all I have to do is type in five comma four. And the box kind of small, isn't it? So, by the way, if you want it to go the other way, without clicking on anything, just type in 4, 5. Just reverse the order of the numbers. And you might have noticed that when I hit enter, um, it went the other way. So anyways, I'm going to take all of that work. And again, I'm just going to delete it because I want to show you my little trick here. So you, if you have this drawing, um, this one right here on your um, computer, or if you've gone ahead and downloaded it, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna choose insert. And it asks me, do I want to insert a JPEG from Trimble Connect, or maybe it'll be Google Drive, or you can just take it from your computer, wherever it is. So here's 2D exercises. That must be it right there. It's not saying the kind of file over here, so I'm just a little stumped. But anyways, I'm pretty sure this is it. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that. And I'm going to insert it as an image. So there it is attached to my cursor. Now, when I first click, I'm just going to go ahead and position it. So I left click. And then I can drag it to whatever size I want. And left click again. So now I've got this image kind of laying on the ground, if you will. But I really don't know what size it is, and it could be too big. So I'll go back into my top view here, 
and I'll zoom in and see here say okay I gotta make a box that's five by four so I type in R for rectangle I pull it out any old length doesn't matter and I type in five comma four and there it is now that's too big or this up here I'd like to make it smaller so that I'm not working you know constantly zooming in and out so here's the secret sauce it's very easy to do type in T for tape measure and then just roughly click along this line right here and it tells you that in real life it's two feet six and one eighth inches so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and then without clicking anywhere else especially down in the lower right corner the measurement dialog box just type in five inches and hit enter and you get this message that pops up and says do you want to resize the model and you say okay now when I did that it made this about five inches wide but it also changed this down here didn't it so if I use my tape measure tool it shrinks everything see that's only that's less than an inch now it shrinks everything inside the model so if you've already you know I went ahead and already made my rectangle so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it here and now I'm gonna redo it R for rectangle click drag out anywhere five comma four and boom there it is so now I can work with both of these but you want to move this just click on it to highlight it type in M for move click anywhere and just drag it wherever you want it to be so I'll say it about right there and then to fill up my screen I'm going to go shift Z and we're pretty much ready to draw so this is already five inches by four inches but let's make absolutely sure by um, using the dimension tool now that's one that's nested here and it's right over here there's not a keyboard shortcut for that so I'll click on this line and I'll pull out and it says four inches I'll click on this line I'll pull up to where it says five inches no biggie if it uh, overlaps on this and then I need to draw a circle here in the center with a radius of one and a half inches so let's just go ahead and draw these diagonal lines first so L for line go corner to corner or endpoint to endpoint I'll come over here go endpoint to endpoint here I'm gonna draw and mouse until it tells me that I've got a midpoint so I'll go midpoint to midpoint and up here midpoint to midpoint and I now have the center of my box if you will so I type in C for circle I click right here in the center and I pull it out now notice how the circle kinda looks like a polygon with a you know just a bunch of straight edges and that's because it is SketchUp cannot draw pure smooth curved circles it can only draw line segments so when it is drawing a circle it is actually drawing a polygon with 24 sides so let's start this circle again so C for circle and notice down here it at tells you sides 24 well I'm going to give minus 100 sides and then I'm going to hit enter and you see how my cursor changed so now my circle looks just a whole bunch smoother doesn't it and what was that radius I think it was one and a half so you can type in one space one slash two for one and a half and hit enter or you could type in 1.5 if you want to type it in decimally um, SketchUp will be happy to accommodate you any way it can so now we're going to just take and erase these segments I'm just typed in E for erase and I'm holding down my left mouse button as I drag across and now we need to take and put in this dimension line right here to check to make sure it's okay and we need to put in that little little center mark so how do we do that well this is a real handy feature within SketchUp so I'll hit my spacebar to get back to my select arrow 
I click on the circle with one of these arcs selected or the whole circle, just right click on it and click find the center and it puts in the center mark for you. And then finally, we'll just come back over here into the dimension tool and click on any mark and notice how it attaches to the arc and it goes right through the center, doesn't it? So we just go ahead and put it like that, place it anywhere you want. And your first drawing is done. So at this point, I'm gonna better go ahead and save it. So I'm going to put it in my 2D drawing exercises folder and I'm gonna call it 2.1 Westland or Eric Westland or, or uh, whatever your teacher asks you to do. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to take the drawing here and just go ahead and delete it. Or you can do this too. You can right click and just hide it. So let's go ahead and print it or get it ready to export so that you can hand it in. So we'll just go up and choose print. And that brings us into you know what what we have we're not actually going to print it on paper but right now it's set for eight and a half by eleven or letter size paper and that all looks good now if you want to center your model in here you can zoom in and out with your scroll wheel you can also hold down the shift button and while that's held down you can you can pan around and get it just where you want so with that work done we click print to PDF we get this message, which is just fine. And it asks us where we want to save it. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can save it in your Google Drive or wherever. And when you click to open it up, there's a preview of it. And uh, we're good to go. And just go ahead and hand that in as directed by your teacher.